why we chose to research on a topic area of mental health in particular is because of how big of an issue this menace has slowly become and to highlight the effects of how it is slowly permeating through our society. Um, moreover, we feel that this is a problem that um, out of all the problems is the one that's least taken into consideration by the people around us. I think most of the people are not really aware of what the underlying issues are. I don't to answer your question. I don't think it's uh, important to actually know where the problem is coming from because it is during the process of counseling which can take it's a long term thing, right? So things come up and things unfold during the process. A lot of times people are carrying unresolved childhood traumas and uh, they don't even know because they're in the unconscious mind but they manifest in anxiety attacks and panic attacks and people don't really know why they're happening. Sometimes they do know but it's, it, the mind actually tends to block out painful experiences from the past. That's how the survival mechanism works. So the subconscious mind may be carrying a lot of traumas and a lot of unresolved issues. I don't think it's important uh, to know what the problem is but to come and work with the problem because it's during the process that people finally discover what's ha happened like years ago which they have been carrying and then they're able to actually process and move on and heal from it. What's more, 10% of children and young people aged between 5 to 16 years have a clinically diagnosable mental health problem, yet only 70% of children and adolescents who experience mental health problems never have had appropriate interventions at a sufficiently early age. So some symptoms to look out for and which indicate that your mental health is deteriorating include having trouble in falling asleep, weight or appetite changes, feeling guilty or worthless, emotional outbursts and becoming quiet all of a sudden amongst a few. Thank you. 